This is breaking news from KSL. Good evening, breaking news. Just into our newsroom, a grand jury has returned an indictment against a former Utah Transit Authority board member. This comes just a day after UTA agreed to share information with federal prosecutors. Political specialist Lad Egan is live in the newsroom tracking these latest details. Lad, that was quick. Yes, it was. You know, and in just the last hour, federal prosecutors filed criminal charges against former UTA board member Terry Charles Deal. This right here is the 12 count indictment. It alleges that the 61 year old misrepresented in bankruptcy court more than $1 million that he made off of the front runner real estate development project in Draper. Deal is also charged with filing false declarations and concealing assets in connection with his Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Deal resigned from the UTA amid controversy in 2011 over the Draper project. The Office of the Legislative Auditor found that Deal had a conflict of interest when he profited from the sale of the land for the Draper Front Runner Station. The potential penalty for each count in the indictment is five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. A summons will be issued for Deal to appear in federal court on the charges alleged in the indictment. And just yesterday, the U.S. Attorney's Office made the unusual step of publicizing a non-prosecution agreement with the UTA. That meant that there would be no criminal action brought against the agency itself, but it did require the sharing of information about individual wrongdoing. In fact, information that was previously protected under attorney-client privilege that could then be shared with the feds once that agreement was released. And in fact, Dave, we are learning today that the UTA has had it over literally thousands of documents to the federal prosecutor. So we will have to wait and see if this is the only person caught up in this ongoing investigation. Lad Egan with the breaking news from our newsroom. Thanks, Lad.